The Watchtower claims that one of the big reasons why it is truly God's organization and that uh, the rest of Christendom's churches are just apostate satanic trash is the fact that, like Jesus, they sanctify Jehovah's name. They make it known. They use the divine name as frequently as they possibly can. They say Jesus did this too because in the Lord's Prayer it said, Our Father in Heaven, sanctify thy name. So, and he also said, I have made your name known in his pre high priestly prayer in John 17. So, they would have us believe then that Jesus used the divine name as frequently as they did. Well, do you think he really did? Let's take a quick look. Um, we'll agree that Jesus frequently went against the grain and got the religious higher-ups angry with him. He went against the grain of their customs. In Mark uh, chapter 7, he and his disciples didn't wash their hands according to the ancestral traditions that were man-made. And they said, why don't you and your disciples wash your hands appropriately? And he basically said, because those are the traditions of men, not the traditions of God. And so he didn't do something according to their traditions, and did they ever cluck their tongues at him? Uh, they were frequently looking for reasons to kill him. He called God my father in John 5, 17, and 18. And Jews did not, an individual Jew would not call God my father at that time, and so they wanted to kill him. Um, so he definitely wasn't afraid of going against the grain, and his opponents and enemies were all too happy to get outraged about something that he did that went against the grain. So I would have to say that using the divine name which, incidentally, at the time of, of his earthly ministry, it was pretty much only used by the high priest on the Day of Atonement. It was considered that sacred by the Jews. Um, so I'd have to say, if he used that name, they would definitely get outraged by that and say, let's kill him, he just blasphemed, he just used the holy name that only the high priest is allowed to use. So in Matthew 22, uh, 43 through 45, He's talking about who's, uh, who is, whose son is the Messiah. And he said, How is it that David by inspiration calls him Lord, saying, Jehovah said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I put your enemies beneath your feet. If David calls him Lord, how is he son? And no one was able to say a word in reply to him, nor did anyone dare from that day on question him any further. Now, Jesus just supposedly said, use the word Jehovah to them. He just supposedly used the divine name. And what was the reaction? Was it, did they become unglued? Did they become unhinged? No. They just basically got stumped and figured, out ah, we, we can't ask him any more questions. So, really, do you think based on that, that Jesus just used that divine name, being that every other time, you know, he did something that went against the grain, you know, they popped their corks, did they pop their corks here? No. And as such, I don't think that Jesus used the Tetragrammaton the way the Watchtower says that he did. They're just uh, kind of using that as another piece of propaganda to make it feel more like an us versus them situation for the Jehovah's Witnesses that followed the Watchtower. That's all.